I'm Ryan Brown here for the Cine Madhouse. I'm with Angela Santamero and Tracy Page Johnson, the co-creators of Blue's Clues. And Tracy, you also voice Blue herself. So uh, what was it like in the creative process when you guys first got together and you said, hey, we have this idea for a show, we got to flesh it out, and then we're going to pitch it to Nickelodeon and Viacom? It was so much fun. We spent six weeks, at least, together in a little corner conference room. We both had, you know, ideas and talking and brainstorming and playing Yucky and out. playing mm -hmm. with stuff. And then we would bring it to kids and see what kids thought. They and they loved, loved it. it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's been almost 30 years, not to age the show or anything, since it originally debuted in 1996. Mm -hmm. uh, the year my sister was born, she was a Steve kid. I was Aww. a Joe kid. Aww. So it's cool to get to see you guys here. Great to get to meet you guys. And now Josh with Blues, Blues, and You. Mm -hmm. uh, what's been so Like, what's been the best part about getting to meet so many generations of fans now who this, grew up with the original? The timelessness of it. This is our first convention that Angela and I have done. And just to see the outpouring of love for all of the characters for us for blue it's just so heartwarming they're crying we're crying everybody's crying yeah we totally we definitely cried <laughs> i know but we're exhausted times, i have to say but it's beautiful yeah it's really just, exciting to hear about how much it's impacted yeah it's just spreading life. the love so much love everywhere that we've given to, to the show and it goes into the fans and then the fans back at us it's just like a circle of love i have seen Countless kids walk away from each table with their host, their respective host they grew up with. Yeah. Even, I would say, a 25-year-old kid myself, when I got yeah. to meet Joe, it was amazing. Oh, uh, so getting to see all of that reaction, and you said it's your first convention, yep. what's that part been like? Exhausting, but just so heartwarming and soul filling of just looking at the It was a favorite, impact. right? When there was a little, a little boy who was jumping and screaming because he was meeting Josh, and somebody went hysterical, you know, really, really, really. And then fine. just it's older just kids, like, you know, people in their 30s coming like you, not nah, you're 25, but <laughs> older, enough. like seeing Steve and freaking out. It's yeah, just, you it's don't really circle. expect that, right? So it's really lovely. Yeah, it's just to be on the ground seeing. And so the animation style for Blue has changed over the yes. years. Uh, it was not exactly easy to animate Blue in CG or in 3D no, like, back in the day. What was it like not only animating Blue, but being able to animate everything related to the show on the original run of it? It was fun. I mean, we took with the basics. We wanted to make sure that we took the boxes of all the favorites of the notebook, you know, not changing the colors of the room, but like just Blue herself, 2D, and then... She wanted to be more huggable, making her 3D and more fluffy and huggable. And, you know, it was a decision to keep some things 2D and some things 3D. And um, it was a great uh, mixed media. You know, the technology has gotten so much better, so we're able to do so much more. All right, and uh, my final question for you guys, if you could give anyone that's watching the interview one piece of life advice, it could be about relationships, work, keeping sticking to everything. What's your best advice you give anyone on this planet? Uh, definitely work with people that you love, um, and stay in the stay in the stay in the passion. Like yeah. Whatever is the Follow most exciting. And if you use your mind to step out of time, you can do anything. <laughs>